The Upright Citizens Brigade began as a small group of friends amusing each other with improv. Today, it is a launching pad for some of the biggest names in comedy. Amy Poehler is one of the originals, and comedians like Ed Helms, Ellie Kemper, and SNL star Kate McKinnon all studied and played at UCB. I got a chance to sit down for a really fun conversation with the group's founders as they celebrate 25 years of the Upright Citizens Brigade. <laughs> For her eight seasons on Saturday Night Live, her run as creator and star on Parks and Recreation, or her three times hosting the Golden Globes, a young Amy Poehler was performing improv with her friends Matt Besser, Ian Roberts, and current Veep star Matt Walsh. Together, they were the Upright Citizens Brigade. We always had a big picture idea of us working together and big dreams, but to be honest, it was small little steps of, can we get a, a stage show up and running in New York? Can we get someone to come see it? Well, can we get on TV? They moved from Chicago to New York to chase those dreams, but they didn't exactly find showbiz glamour when they got there. What were those early days of UCB New York like? I lived Hilarious. with my parents in New Jersey. Well, she slept on people's couches, yes? I couch hopped and then I slept in a, before they cleaned up the Gowanus Canal, it smelled so bad I thought I had peed myself one night. <laughs> I woke up and it smelled so horrible. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, what happened? And it was just Brooklyn. It was just your neighborhood. It was just Brooklyn coming in. So I, I since found places. And you lost a ton of weight because you walked everywhere because yeah. it, was it was too expensive even to take the Yeah, we subway. were legit poor. You were still waiting tables for a yeah, while. Yeah, I was still a uh, waitress for a long time. We, we I remember, a, a I remember the day that I quit waiting tables and thinking like, okay, this is gonna be like, Comedy is going to now be what I do for a living. Wow. Shut up. Daniel is a beautiful boy who has a. Their persistence paid off. In 1998, they landed a show on Comedy Central. Shut up, Daniel. Once we got on TV, wow, maybe we should take all these classes that we're teaching and put them in a theater. UCB established its first theater on West 22nd Street in New York, but the place came with a slightly sordid past. We met a, a woman who was running a gentle burlesque. House. It was a lap dance emporium or and something. And that's gentle by your standards? Well, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I like, it's gentle. a little gentle. That's gentle for me. <laughs> yeah, it I, was a I theater that didn't have a stage. It had a runway. It had a runway, and there were mirrors. And, uh, oh, and there was a, a nude picture of our landlord when you went in, which I would recommend. It's actually very, it's a real power position to put a nude yeah. picture of yourself. Yeah. For months, months afterwards, people, uh, mostly gentlemen, would come in during the day and uh, act, feign, feign interest in <laughs> these cards. Oh, it's improv, interesting. I've never well, been here before. <laughs> I just want to check this place out. In spite of that location, word spread and fans began to line up. We came to New York doing long form improv. It was free and that really, I think, exploded our word of mouth and they wanted to take class. So the group came up with a curriculum and started sharing their secrets. You can't make somebody funny, but we can recognize talent and give them a methodology to work together better. The guys even wrote a book about it. People can read about this in the summer thriller. <laughs> Comedy <laughs> improvisation made It's a yes. page turner. Today, UCB is something of a farm system for comedy's biggest movies and TV shows. We got together about three years ago talking about UCB, and at the time, um, we profiled one of the students there, who was a young woman named Sashir Zameda, who's now on SNL. Tomorrow morning, Barack and the kids will bring me breakfast in bed. How proud does that make you? It's awesome. It's the, best. it's the best thing about it is that our name is associated with great talent and that we feel like in no way are we taking credit for that talent, but we feel like we provided an environment for that. And it's always, it's just, it's so cool. And beginning tonight, so cool. UCB will hold a 72-hour improv marathon in honor of their late mentor, Del Close. It's 636 nonstop shows across nine wow. stages here Ooh. in New York City. Tickets go on sale today. If you're in New cool. York this weekend, you couldn't do any better. It's That's such a blast. Awesome. Also, you can check out more of my interview, including a little word association game we played. Ooh. You're going to enjoy that one at today.com. <laughs> Those guys are so that. much fun, so fun and so much fun together. Yeah. They've known yeah. each other yeah. so long. It's just fun to sit so with them. So talented. And yeah. Amy Pollard. I just... I'm She's I'm the coolest. Huge fan. Yep. The coolest. Everybody. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.